Let's talk about the different types of power for success. We all have a lot of different kinds of power, but most of us operate in businesses and systems and societies that portray power in a very limited number of ways. The number of likes you get on a post, or your salary, or your social status, or the size of your office. These are all external signs of a particular type of power. A lot of times when people are feeling powerless, or when they're trying to achieve something or influence somebody, they use power and they very often use the wrong type of power to achieve the success that they're looking for. The question is, are you using the right type of power for you and the right type of power for the job? One of the key steps here is for you to understand that you have a lot of different types of power. And again, whether you have a big salary or a small salary, that only represents one kind of power. Whether you have a lot of social media followers or a few, that represents one kind of power. Those kinds of powers get a lot of attention in our society. But there are a lot of other kinds of power that may be more valuable and more important. We have power of threat. We have power of status, power of position, power of role power of relational influence. We have power of ideas. We have power of our own values and clarity and where we stand. We have power of language. We also have power of silence. We have power of the way we connect with others and how we can enroll people. We have power of listening. We have power of empathy. When people feel that sense of connection with us, it's a whole different kind of power. One of the most interesting forms of power is the power of role modeling. When people look at you, what do they see? How do they see you showing up? And do they say, huh, I want to try that out too. Once you've acknowledged that you have a lot of different kinds of power, it's time to start assessing which type of power to use in which situation. And to do this, I want to share an emotional intelligence skill with you called Apply Consequential Thinking. One of the basic principles of applying consequential thinking is that every choice has pros and cons. Every choice has costs and benefits, upsides and downsides. Part of what we're trying to do at work, at home, everywhere in our lives is to balance these costs and benefits. And success is about getting more of the benefits and less of the costs. So how do we do that balancing act? One of the other key ideas of applying consequential thinking is to look not just at the obvious, the visible, but also look at the less obvious, the invisible, the subtle. Not just at the strategic part of the decision or the logical part of the decision, but also at the emotional part of the decision. As you're evaluating different forms of power and options that you have, consider what's the emotional impact on you and others. In other words, how are you going to feel? And you can use your imagination to put yourself into a situation. You say, well, if I exercise this form of power, if I really focused on my relational power, or I really focused on my status power, and I used that to influence this situation, how might I feel? How might others feel? And often when we're thinking about the exercise of power, or unconsciously exercising power. It's really about others. What is the effect you really want to have? Another part of applying consequential thinking is balancing the short term and long term. So as you think about moving forward with a particular form of power, what's the cumulative effect? If you really work on building up those social media followers, I want to be an influencer. Okay, so what's the long-term effect going to be on you and others? Yeah, I might feel this particular way next week, next month. What happens a year, two, three, four, five, twenty 20 years later? What is the lasting effect for you? And how does that align with the success that you really want to create in your life? When we start committing to develop a certain form of power, we're like building up this power base. It could be building up an army for a particular form of power. 
could be building up social media likes for another type of power. It could be building up friends for a different type of power. We're going to accumulate power. And as we accumulate power, there is a cost. We need to assess how big is that cost going to be? Is that cost going to limit me from what I really want to achieve? Or is it going to help me move towards my real long-term goals? So bottom line, you have a lot of different forms of power. Assess the type of power that you're using by applying consequential thinking and evaluating the costs and benefits of that type of power to help you move towards the success that you're trying to achieve. As you start experimenting with different types of power that you have and building those up, I'd love to know how it works for you. So share in the comments and check out our other videos to find more tips about leadership and life.